everyone welcome to online study for you a complete uh, place and solution for everyone today in this video we'll be discussing infosys spdsc coding question yes we'll be discussing last year asked infosys spdsc coding question these questions will help you to have a idea that which type of questions will be asked this year as well and you can prepare better for your infosys spdsc test now let's quickly start the video and for in the video we'll be discussing the coding question we'll be understanding the problem statement then we'll be discussing that how we can solve that question how we can build that logic for that particular question and once uh, having the logic we'll be coding that question we'll be seeing the code as well we'll be seeing how we uh, how we can code the logic for that particular question so make sure you watch this video till end and you don't miss anything over this video let's get started now so coming on to the question, the question is get maximum in the generated array. So this is one of the question and let's see what the question is. Let's understand the problem statement first. So coming on to problem statement, the problem statement states that you are given an integer n. So first of all, one integer n will be given a zero indexed integer array nums of length n plus one is generated in the following way. Now then one array will be generated uh, in the following way of size n plus 1. Okay. n plus size 1's array will be generated in the following way. First of all, array of 0 will be 0. Array of 1 will be 1. And then array of 2 into i. Like if index is 2, then 2 into i will be uh, nums of i. And 2 into i plus 1 will be nums of i plus nums of i plus 1. In this way, you need to fill the entire array. Okay, return the maximum integer in the array. So you need to make the array like this. And after that, out of the entire array made, you need to tell which is the maximum integer. Okay, so what the question says is, you'll be given this n, that is the size of the array. And your array will be of n plus uh, one size after that. Or it will, be, uh, contain, uh, it will be containing this much number of, okay. Now after that, we'll be uh, generating the numbers in this way such that, 2 into i position will be uh, equals to nums of i and 2 into i plus 1 position will be nums of i plus nums of i plus 1. Okay. Once generated the entire array, you need to return the maximum integer in the array of the array nums. So I hope the question is getting cleared. If not, we have a lot of examples. So we'll be discussing those examples. And after discussing of the uh, examples, I hope the question will become uh, out much clear to all of you. So let's discuss the example. So coming on to the examples, they said we will be given n equals to 7. If n size is 7, that is we can generate n plus 1 numbers. Now what they said, nums of 2 into i will be nums of i and nums of 2 into i plus 1 will be nums of i plus nums of i plus 1, right? I guess this was the scenario, if I am not wrong here. So let's see. So according to the rule, if n equals to 7, let's start generating. So first of all, what will be nums of 0? Nums of 0 will be always 0. Then nums of 1. So what was nums of 1? Nums of 1 was 1. We have already seen. That is, for 0, it will be 0. For nums of 0, it will be 0. And nums of 1, it will be 1. We feel that. Then after that, when it will come to uh, 2, nums of 2, that is we need to create this uh, particular thing, 2 into i. And here 2 into i will be, i can be 1. Then only we can generate nums of 2, right? That is 2 into i will be nums of 2. So now nums of 2 will be equal to here i. i is 1. That is nums of 1. So nums of 1 is 1. So it will be 1. Then it will be 3. How we can generate this 3? That is 2 into 1 plus 1. Right? Here i will be 1. Again, it will be equal to nums of i. Uh, we can see that here. Okay. That is this particular thing will be nums of i plus nums of i plus 1. That is 2. That is 1 plus 1. That is 2. And then after that, similarly, we will create nums of uh, 4. And nums of 4 will be 2 into 2. And it will be equal to that is i is 2. That is nums of 2. Nums of 2 is equal to uh, nums of 2 equals to 1. So we'll fill that again. Then again, nums of 5. Nums of 5 will be equal to nums of 2 plus nums of 3. That is 3. Okay. 
After that, nums of six, nums of six will be two, and then finally nums of seven, nums of seven will be three again. So now, if I see the array, my array is zero, one, one, two, one, three, two, three. This one, this is my entire array. You can cross check once. And now, if you see, and now what was the output? Output will be the maximum number in this array. The maximum number is three. So output will be also three, and hence the answer is three. So this is how you need to generate the arrays. Similarly, uh, if now n is equal to two, then only uh, then the, uh, the array will be having three numbers: zero, one, two. It will be zero. It will be one. And then numbers of one were uh, numbers of two was one. And the maximum number out of these numbers is one. So will, the output will be one. Similarly, for the three, the maximum number will be two. Uh, so the output will be two. So this is how you need to generate the array, and this is how you need to get the output. Now I hope the question is quite clear. Now we'll be moving on to the solution part. Now we'll be uh, moving to the logic building part. That how we can solve this question in the easiest way, and then we'll be moving to the code. So let's move on to the solution logic building part now. Coming on to the solution part. Suppose let's take n equals to seven only, and the output for that was three. Okay, for zero, this is suppose my nums of uh, nums array, and for zero it will be zero, and nums of one will be one. After that, nums of two into i will be nums of i. I'm writing all the things that we need to take care so that you remember the things. Else, if uh, it may happen that you uh, forget that what we discussed previously, and now you will get confused and that thing, right? So that is why I'm writing all the important things here. Two into i plus one will be nums of i and plus nums of i plus one. And out of uh, after generating the entire array, we need to get the maximum. From there, right? This is how we need to uh, generate. Now let's make our array also. Okay. Suppose this is a nums array: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right? For zero position, we have the answer, so we fill it. For one position, we have the answer, we have to fill. Now it is two. Okay. Now it is two, and for two, what we were having two into i. Right, we were having two into i. That is, nums of two into i was equals to nums of i. Now, if we say we know here i, why we are always considering two into i, two into i, and don't you think two into i is that is the even position? This two into i is resembling the is even position, and two into i plus one will be always odd. That is odd. This is even, right? Even odd thing is going on. So one thing is clear for the even, we need to do this. For the odd, we need to do this. Okay. One thing is more clear. Now uh, that is uh, the place where we need to apply this, and this is clear for even and for odd. That is, we can easily check if i person two is equal to equal to zero, then go for this, and else go for this. Even and odd thing is uh, done. Now we need to uh, go more uh, precisely, and we need to see see that how we can make this thing more easy. Isn't it? I told is uh, looking very complex, two into i and everything. Let's make it more simpler. So what if what if it was written? Forget about every nums and i. If it is written like this, can I do that? If nums of i is equal to i by two, can I do that? Yes, of course. It is all uh, like coding is all about mathematical thing, right? So definitely, if I'm in removing, uh, if I'm forgetting about the arrays and everything, if I am looking forward this to this equation only, then I can definitely do that. Two into i is equal to i. That means i is equal to i by two. Now again, putting my nums here, that is nums of i is equal to nums of i by two. Nums of i by two. Similarly. If it was two into i plus one is equal to nums of i uh, plus nums of i by two, then again I can do this. Uh, I uh, two into will uh, come here. That is i by two plus i by two plus one, right? This things can be done. So let's see. Uh, I'm raising the uh, unnecessary part. 
uh, this part and I'm writing this part once again so that you, I, you can get it better. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is done. Now, what I said for this particular part, we will say nums of i is equal to nums of i by 2 because we have the ith index. So it will be more easy to tackle nums of i instead of nums of 2 into i. And that is why we meet. And if we are at i, then we will definitely be having i by 2, right? And it's our even condition. So we'll be definitely having i by 2 as our even number. Okay, so this is done. And for this, what we said, here nums of i will be nums of i by 2 plus nums of i by 2 plus 1, right? And uh, so both the conditions are clear and here we made the same condition. That is now we can check for i percent 2 for even. If it is even, then go for this. If it is odd, then go for this. And we have here, we have sorted the equations here also. So this is how we can solve this question. Now let's quickly see what will be the answer. For nums of 2, 2 by 2 will be 1. That is 1. For nums of 3, nums of 3 is a odd number. So we'll come here. Nums of 3 will be i by 2. Uh, that is 2 by two, uh, 1, right? Nums of 1, 1 plus. And nums of i by 2 plus nums of 2. 1 plus 1, 2. And similar uh, then uh, uh, for i, nums of uh, 4. Nums of 4 will be nums of 4 by 2, 2. Nums of 2, that is 1. Then again, nums of 5. 5 by 2 will be 2 plus that is now at uh, number at nums of 2 that is 1 and then nums of i by 2 uh, 2 plus 1 that is 3 at 3 it is 2 so 1 plus 2 3 and this is so on will be filling and out of this the maximum number that will be generated is 3 and that will be our output so we'll be outputting 3 so what we in overall what we need to do is we will simply use a for loop Okay, from 0 to n or we can uh, start from 2 also. For 0, we can uh, give 0 and for 1, we can uh, fill uh, 1 as it is. Then we will check if i percent 2 is equal to equal to 0, then my nums of i will be equal to nums of i by 2. Else, my nums of i will be nums of i by 2 plus nums of i by 2 plus 1, okay. And every time I'll be having maximum, which will be having max i, which will be having max of already having max i, comma, current nums of i that is generated, okay. And at last we can return or we can print our max i. So this is how we can simply code this question. So initially it was uh, like some pattern or something. It was seems to be like you have to build a pattern and everything. No, here we don't need to do anything. You need to simplify the equation. So see that math thing is also coming here, right? So this can be one of the easy question that they can ask or the medium question that they can ask. So remember that you need to simplify the question first. Spend a time over, over the problem statement, understanding the problem statement, thinking how you can easily solve this question, then uh, start coding. So first of all, you can always write it, uh, write somewhere a small at a small piece of paper that you will go do with this and this, and then start coding. This will help you to get all the test cases passed. This will help you to think better. I hope this question was all clear. And now we'll be moving on to the coding part of this logic. So let's move on to that. So coming on to the coding part, here we have the code for only the logic. We I haven't written the entire code. So let's see that code. Suppose we have this n coming from in the function. Now if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to equal to 1, then we can uh, simply return the n because for 0 it will be 0, for 1 it will be 1. For the else condition, I made one vector. And this is the, uh, and then I took array of 0 as, uh, as 0 and array of 1 as 1. I filled that. Uh, initially, I take max i as 1 because out of these, the maximum will be 1. Then I started a for loop and I started from i equals to 2 to uh, i is less than equals to n. And I started uh, checking if a r r of i is equals to uh, a r r of i is equals to if i percent 2 is equals to equals to 0, then 
go for a r of i uh, by 2 uh, uh, that is a r of i will be equal to a r of i by 2 else my a r of i will be equal to a r of i by 2 plus a r of i by 2 plus 1 so this is a conditional statement where here to write the condition if the condition is true then uh, this will be implemented else if the condition is false then this will be implemented okay i hope this is not that confusing we can simply write in the if else condition uh, in the form of if else condition that we have already discussed while discussing the logic or you can go with uh, like this also okay then we have updated the max i every time and at last we have written the max i which we have already discussed so this is how you can write the code and i guess this code you can write in any uh, language here uh, like this is simple to for loop which are almost same in every language so I hope that uh, this question is all clear. We'll be keep bringing more questions. Till then, keep watching and thanks for watching. And I hope this video have helped you to get the idea that what kind of questions will be asked in, into Infosys SPDSC. And if this video was helpful, then do like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have want more such video, then do let us know in the comment section below. Till then, keep watching and thanks for watching.